everybody, welcome to Origami Light. Today we're going to be folding this origami fish frame. This model's fairly simple. It's one of my simplest models and that's why I decided to teach it. But today I'm going to be using a bigger piece of paper because it's the only kind of paper I have that's double sided. If you don't have double sided paper, what you can do is you can fold two squares together at the same time. You just need to make them perfectly aligned. Okay, let's get started. So, first of all, what you're gonna do, this is just like, just about not in frame. Sorry if you can hear my little brother, he's playing outside. But, um, so we're gonna start with folding the paper in half. <laughs> Once this gets smaller, then it will be okay. This is pretty huge though. But, yeah. So fold and unfold in half. Um, apparently my brother and sister said that they used to call it a uh, hamburger and hot dog fold. I never did that. So, <laughs> if anybody else remembers hamburger or hot dog folds, just let me know in the comments. Because I sure don't. <laughs> okay, so you're going to fold into fourths. You want a four by four grid. turn the paper over. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this point to this point. My my paper is not even fitting on my table. Like that. And then fold this like that. Not like that. And finally, like this. Okay, so now that's getting smaller. Never mind, we're gonna make it bigger again. And turn the paper over. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to close, close this here and close this here, like that, okay? And then you're gonna open it here and push this down. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to open this up like this. You're gonna actually fold these flaps down like this, and then you fold this up like that, and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold along here and then close this back up. So hopefully, I know I said this is an easy model, this is the one hard step. Okay, so it's like this. Make sure it's aligned properly. So it's like that. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. Okay, hopefully you can understand that. Okay, so now do that to every single one. Okay, and this is something you don't have to do, but in my opinion, I like it this way if you open this up you can actually you can actually fold it like that instead I prefer that way you can do whichever way you want so instead like that and do that on each side if you're gonna do that you don't have to 
Okay, we're almost done. So what you want to do is you want to fold this up, but don't crease it all the way. Just kind of crease in the middle. You can crease it all the way if you want to. I just think you shouldn't. Okay, and crease this all the way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slightly fold this and fold it to that line and then push this up. Okay, that was one of the only hard steps. So now you're going to do that on every single side. Don't think this deserves a time lapse. Okay. Now we just want to make the fish fish shape. So you can actually use this tutorial to make a fish, except it doesn't really work. Um, okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna fold this edge to that edge, like this. And this edge to that edge. Like this. And so there you go, you've made the tail. So what you wanna do now is unfold this and you're gonna fold it to here. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, like that. And fold this tip up like that. And then fold it this way. And do the same thing on the other side. There you go, you're done your fish frame. So on this one, I pressed it down and I put glue on it and I pressed it down and let it sit overnight. And as you can see, you the fish doesn't it doesn't really stay nicely. So if you want you can put glue here, 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 and just all along here and then press it down under a heavy book overnight and then you get something like this and that will look a lot nicer oh and I forgot to mention this is one of my own models it I this is I designed it myself thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later